I think it was a track that got him. And if you look at the loss that he had to Stephen Foster, look what he did after that. So uh, he's never, how long has it been since he's been beaten on turf? It's been a long time. Um, I think, you know, um, we're looking for a rebound effort. I think he's doing good and just hope for the best. Doesn't bother you at least, the loss? Well, I'm sure it bothers me. I mean, I, not about what he's going to do for this race. Right. I just would have liked to have kept him undefeated. Uh, but, I mean, it came off the grass, a deluge of rain. Everything went against us. We didn't have the best post position. We got knocked around going into the first turn. We ran 41 feet further than the winner. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, you know, we'll just hope for the best, and, and hopefully he can uh, get the win. What do you think about this turf course for him? He, he likes it out here, obviously, huh? Well, obviously, last year, and if he runs any better, he's going to have to break his own record. So, I mean, I, you know, that's you know, I think they're going to run pretty fast. That worries me a little bit about how fast they'll run the race, not for him, but for every horse in the race. As far as the early fractions or just all the way around? No, it's just going to be really fast. I think it's going to be a really fast race. And what they tell me about the turf course, we're getting ready to go on it right now, see how he likes it and how he handles it and everything. But I think from what I understand, it's really fast and it's really hard. But that's just what I've heard around here. Yeah. Do you have a uh, preference? I mean, if it was in soft turf, do you think he's even a better chance of winning? I, I like a, a turf with a little bit of cut too because we know he likes that but he obviously likes a fast turf i think uh there's this race is going to set up really good for him mm -hmm. i think there's a lot of speed in there i think you know obviously in silver max from what they're saying and what they're going to want to do they're going to really want to go mm -hmm. and uh hopefully they'll use each other up uh, we don't want to be that one to go with them you know and, and coming out of the eight hole we should be able to watch what goes on to the inside of us and take it from there great now Two Breeders' Cup miles in a row. What uh, what kind of legacy would this be? What would it mean to the to the barn if he were to win another one? Well, it would it would be it would be awesome. You know, we uh, you know it didn't really sink in. We've won three Woodbine Millions. Uh, if we can come with one year with Tour Lure twice with Wise Day, now if we can come back to Santa Anita and win this race, I mean it, it would be pretty neat for us. That's great. Horse of the year. Any thoughts? Well, is I he would in the race? He is in the race. Uh, well, I think he's in the race. He, he's got to win this race. Okay. Uh, the game on dude, if he wins the Classic, you know, he deserves a real big chance at it because I mean, he's undefeated this year. Some say, well, he never traveled out of California, but he did go one time out there. And any time a horse is undefeated, if, if, if we get beat and game on dude wins this race, then I think game on dude probably mm -hmm. will be the leading contender for horses here, and I think he deserves it. Okay. If game on dude gets beat and we win, well, then we'll get them guys to figure out what they want to do, but I'm there hoping. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.